Hey everyone and welcome back to the programming fields. Recently Laravel 11 has been released officially with very awesome features. So we will talk about the new features, improvements and applications one by one in the upcoming videos. I'm Umesh Rana. Today we will be diving into the world of Laravel upgrades. Specifically, we will guide you through the process of taking your Laravel 10 application and giving it a fresh boost by upgrading it to Laravel 11. Upgrading to the latest Laravel version ensures you benefit from the newest features, bug fixes and improved security. It is like giving your applications a tune-up to keep it running smoothly and securely. So before we jump in, let's make sure you have the essentials ready. So I have navigated to the system and open the terminal. So I already have one Laravel 10 application. So firstly, I will open this in the VS Code editor. So I will type this code and yes, the project is opened in the VS Code editor. Inside this project folder, we have this composer.json file. So if we we'll click on this, then we have all the dependency available inside this Laravel 10 project. So firstly, we can see this Laravel 10 project requires PHP 8.1. All right. And this is Laravel framework version. This is 10.10. .10. Okay. And other dependencies just like Sanctum, Tinker, and these are the inbuilt dependencies. Okay. So this is a very basic application in Laravel 10 and we don't have much other uh, third party dependencies in the, inside this application. Now today we will upgrade this to Laravel 11. So firstly, we will check out the official documentation of Laravel 11. So let's switch to the browser. And here search for Laravel 11 and yes, we have this very first Laravel 11 documentation. Now let's check out this prologue. So inside this prologue, we have this upgrade guide. Okay. So if you scroll down, then we can see we have this high impact changes, medium impact changes and low impact changes. So under the high impact changes, we have the following dependencies and at the very first thing we required PHP 8.2 or greater version. All right. So firstly, you'll have to check PHP version. So let's switch to terminal and just type PHP hyphen V. Okay. So currently I have PHP 8.2.3. So this is sufficient. And thereafter you have to check composer version as well. So let's type composer hyphen V. Okay. So I have composer version 2.7.2. So this is also latest. If you don't have the latest version of the composer, then simply you can type composer self dash update. Okay, if you will hit enter, it will upgrade the latest version. So currently it said you are already using the latest available composer version. Okay, now we are ready to go to the upgrade guide. So let's switch to the documentation and here we will change this Laravel framework to 11. So let's come back to the project folder and uh, here we will change this PHP 8.1 to PHP 8.2 and then this Laravel framework will be changed to 11. Okay, so we will type 11.0. And then next, we'll have to update this collision to 8.1. So let's search for collision. And yes, here we have. So let's change this to 8.1. And thereafter, if we have the bridge, cashier, dusk, jet stream, all these other dependencies, then we will have to upgrade this one. So in our case, we don't have these libraries. We have the sanctum. So let's check the sanctum version to 4.0. Okay. So let's upgrade this to 4.0. Let's save this and now let's come back to the terminal again. And here we will type composer update. Okay, let's hit enter. And let's wait for a couple of seconds. This will start upgrading your Laravel 10 to 11. And yes, it upgraded to Laravel 11. Okay, let's come back to the composer.json file. And here we can see we have this Laravel framework 11. Now let's come back to the terminal again. And here we will type PHP partition about. Okay. So this is Laravel 11 command line. And here we will see this is environment, application name, Laravel version, PHP version, composer version. Everything has been displayed here. We can see cache things, drivers. Okay. Also we can use PHP partition hyphen hyphen version command. So it will return Laravel version. Yeah. So we can see we have Laravel 11.0.6 and we will have to make sure after upgrading to Laravel 11, we will have to clear the application cache. So we will type PHP partition optimize clear. All right. So here it cleared cache, compiled, config, events, routes and views. All right. 
now let's start the application so we'll open this terminal and we'll type php artisan serve and yes laravel application has been started so let's come back to the browser let's try to access the application so yes we can see we have the official home page of this laravel 10 but we can see this is laravel 11.0.6 version with php 8.2.3 okay finally we have upgraded a laravel 10 application to laravel 11 upgrading is a crucial step but it is equally important to ensure everything works as expected after the process so take some time to thoroughly test your application run your application and navigate through different functionalities test user interactions form submission database interaction and any other critical aspect of your application and if you encounter any issues feel free to ask in the comment section also you can refer to the laravel official documentation for any help see you soon in the next video with laravel 11 features